So week 43 of the beer vlogs, and this week we actually have a new style of beer. The intro is kind of long, so we're going to try and just get right to it. Um, I know you guys are like, wow, 43 weeks of the beer vlog, and you still have new styles? That's crazy. But the beer world of, of beer is crazy. We're explorers. And we're explorers. We're like Christopher Columbus out there embarking on new things. Um, hope everybody's brackets are as screwed up as everybody else's. Sure they are. And... I think on Tuesday, I'm going to try and brew some beer on my own. It's going to be probably really horrendous, but that's okay. I'm willing to accept that. We may be dead. We're not going to be dead, but... Two months from now. Two months from now. <laughs> when we taste it. Europe's all planned. Very exciting. But enough of that. Let's talk about beer. So this week, we have a very interesting beer. It's called Pirate Ale. Yeah. And... It's got a nice picture of a pirate. This one gets this one gets some style points, a nice ship, and it's supposed to be drank out of like a tulip glass or like a goblet. Uh, Mitchell's got his little goblet, so we'll see if his tastes any different than mine. Maybe, maybe sometimes a glass makes a difference. Um, this one's supposed to be served at a colder temperature, um, 35 to 40 degrees. So we threw this baby in. Oh no, that's for cellar. 40 to 45. So we threw this thing in the freezer for a little while. And uh, this one is a Belgian IPA, and I just want to talk very briefly about. What, Belgian IPAs, oh I lost my link, but anyway Belgian IPAs are uh, a mix of like uh, an American IPA and a Belgian ale, uh, it says they use like American hops but they still use the Belgian yeast and so uh, all the reviews on this were really good, it says that it, it has a lot of the characteristics like the fruity maltiness of like an Abbey ale but it still has a little bit of the, the crisp bitterness but that's not, pff, that's not too overpowering um, from like an, an American IPA so this is a really a cool combination of two uh, very dominant styles, and all the reading I did said it's, it's still kind of uh, a style in development. It's not really like a, a set style, like a, a porter or a, a double bock or anything. They're still kind of still kind of toying around with the idea for it. So let's give this bad boy a go. It's kind of cool. Kind of a cool style. I will say normally we're not big fans of IPAs, but uh, this one looked very interesting, and it's a Belgian IPA, like I said, so it might be interesting. Whoop. You can pour it first, Your Excellency. It's gonna be good. I like that little foam out of the top there. I do not have a good glass like Mitchell's. I got my Weissen glass for wheat beers. We need more glasses. We. Might never get them. <laughs> Most likely not. Birthdays are quite a ways away. There's not really much vacation in between there to buy, <laughs> buy things. Um, maybe after Europe. Maybe we'll collect some glasses in Europe. I don't know how they would get back, but... No, I'll break in the bag. And yeah, that might not be good. Sad. Oh, no! We'll have to take a pause. Dang it! I left it sitting right next to my desk here. Uh, this one is also 10.5%. I'm gonna pull, pour a hearty glass anyway, just cause that's how I roll. It's bedtime. It'll be bedtime. Uh, momentary pause. When you wake up and you're thirsty, you can just wait up for that. Take a sip. Conditioning for Europe. <clears throat> Getting ready. So, uh, as you can see, this is really like a. It's not quite as orange as it shows on the screen, but it's there's definitely a lot of carbonation. Um, a nice little white foam at the top, not too much. Well poured today. Uh, it's more of a, like a, a yellowish, like honey color, really. Like it, golden. Golden, yeah. Um, the smell is a little bit yeasty for me. Yeah. Do you get that too? It's kind of like a. It's more of like the from the Belgian uh, yeast smell, I guess that would be. Now that we're able to it's specify like, it. Very thick. Uh, Healthy, heady, going on. Yeah, it's not too tall, but it is very thick. Just really yeasty smell. A little bit fruity. A little bit fruity. 
So let's give this bad boy a go. Ooh, that is really good. Reminds me a lot of an Abbey Ale. Reminds me more of an Abbey Ale than it does like a an American IPA. Yeah, you don't get the IPA feel. There's no real like. There's no bitterness that I can taste. No, there's no real like hoppy bitterness. I was expecting for there to be like a little bit of a crisp bitterness, maybe like a little bit higher on the IBUs, but I don't really get that. It is uh, it's very fruity. I'm searching for that apple, but I don't know if I. Hmm. I don't really get much. I don't really get much apple. I get, I get a lot of the, um, <clears throat> like the the Belgian malts. I get a lot of the Belgian malts, like the caramely, caramely flavors, and then I get some fruity, like blended in. There's no real beginning, middle, or end for me. The end is more uh, more caramely malty than, than anything. But it's kind of it's fairly fairly simple. I thought it was going to be kind of complex with a little bit of bitterness and some hoppiness at the back end, but fruity. Just like an Abbey Ale. Very fruity. It's a whole, that's a whole Belgian thing, I guess. Mm-hmm. They like their beer sweet and... and the Belgian thing is going to be fruity. <laughs> mm-hmm. Can't wait till we go to Belgium. Bunch of fruity people. <laughs> Just kidding. If you're Belgian. Mm. Ah, this isn't, this isn't too complex. It, for, it's, for being 10.5%, it does not taste like 10.5%. No. This, this tastes like... I had that that double box that was like eight percent. That tasted more, more like a higher percentage than this does. And I feel like this is like a seven or seven and a half. Taste wise, do you feel like it's more than that? No, I feel I like was it's... just laughing because you had the backpack. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Euro training, dog. Beer drinking with backpacks. <clears throat> your, you should have yours on too. It's always on. <laughs> just can't see it. Um, okay, so let's give this thing a rating. Um, I think we talked about it enough. This is really good. I definitely like this. I'm glad that we chose this. It was Mitchell's choice this week. Good choice. Rating what? Rating. Oh, you. Sorry. Shoot. 4.4. Uh, 4.4? 4. 4. Not quite a 4.5 for you? Is that what? Yeah. I am going to give this... Um, I think I'm going to give this a 4.6. I think this is just a little better than some of the 4.5s that we've had. And I... I really like Abbey Ales. I really like that this is unique style and that point one, style point. Yeah. Style pirate. point for being a pirate. Everybody loves pirates. So... I thought it was a little too fruity for me. That's why it wasn't a 4.5, a little too yeah. fruity. But it's still really good, obviously. Good. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you, you could really drink this. Good, right, okay. Um, good beer blog, still kind of long. Sorry. Goodbye. Okay,